Hi, I hope that you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to create. And recently I was just surfing around on the internet and I saw an activity to make a dry erase board. And to make that dry erase board, you just use a picture frame. So that is what we're going to do. I'll show you everything that we'll use and I'll show you how quick and easy this whole project can be. So we've got the picture frame. And mine is eight by 10. You could use a smaller one if you wanted. That one's five by seven. But I think for me, the eight by 10 is better size. I've also got drawing paper. And I have some artwork that I printed. So I'm going to make two different dry erase boards. And this activity can be as elaborate or as simple as you want it to be. So if you want, you could just use your own artwork and put it in there. So it's very simple. I'm just turning the frame over. And I've got one that's going to just pop right out of there. And then this is where my bottom is. So I'm going to put that in. Going to make sure it lines up nicely, and it does. I'm going to pop it right back in there. I'm going to twist those back that way, and there is my first dry erase board. And I can keep this by my desk. I can just use a dry erase marker and make all my notes on the board. The thing I like about the frame being the dry erase board is that if I get tired of the picture that's in there, I can just flip it over. And you know me, I like book quotes a lot. And so I made a second panel written on the art paper and put that back on and then we've got this one and that just has a quote from The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And again, I can just make my notations on there. Now, if you don't have a picture frame, there is another way you could do this. You could just use one of these laminating sheets. And so this time I made one that's half the Van Gogh painting and half blank. Put it in there. Anchor it down so it doesn't slip. Pull that off. And I can use that. for my dry erase as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick look at how to make a dry erase board a couple of different ways, and I hope that you give it a try. I will be back again to explore and create, and until then, I hope that you continue to use your curiosity to explore the world and your creativity to improve it. And thank you.